Hello and welcome to Hearth and Hammer. We are excited for you to be here this evening. Uh, whether you're joining us live or you're watching the VOD or you're listening to the podcast, uh, we're just happy that you're here and we hope that you enjoy the journey with us this evening. We are on episode 33, which is crazy. Nuts. Um, if you missed any of our last episodes, you can find them on our YouTube. Uh, you can go back and watch previous episodes there. You can check it out. Um, podcast, you can find it anywhere that it's found. You can also watch us live on twitch.tv slash hearth and hammer on Tuesday nights around 9 p.m. Central Time. Um, so, uh, also, of course... Music and sound effects <laughs> by Monument Hello? Studios. That's right, MonumentStudios.net, creator of incredible, incredible, royalty free music and sound effects for your tabletop RPG needs. Uh, they have an incredible soundboard app you can get. They have so much music. Uh, and sound effects it's like i don't know i think that's like 20 gigs so far and i think they're getting ready to come out with a whole new collection in fact they announced it so i know they are so uh nice. <laughs> but you should definitely go check it out my name is studios.net hashtag not sponsored yet um, yet <laughs> i gotta talk to those guys so yeah. they're fantastic fantastic and it's only two people it's only two people that's crazy yeah it really is Move my camera off guys it's not cool <laughs> I don't know what's happening. You keep sliding more and more <laughs> yeah, in the wrong side. direction. Going the wrong direction. You're happening? going further and further off screen. Seth. Go towards the pillow, Seth. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I don't I don't I don't know what happened. Anyway. I think I'm in the middle now. Uh, it'll be messed up in the next scene, you know. <laughs> you don't have to lean back. That's right, you have to lean back right. over. <laughs> uh, Anyway, uh, but thank you. Thank you for joining us. Uh, guys, how are you doing tonight? Great. Great. Fantastic. I, uh, man, it has been a crazy week, but man, am I pumped for D&D this week. Twice. Because Twice. if you don't know, our good friends, Austin and Colin here, are guesting on another D&D uh, one shot on Friday during the I, mother of all streams. You want to say something about it? I would love to talk Austin's about this opportunity. And I know, it. Seth, you know so much about it, but but man, this started uh, from the heart of a person I just connected with. And his heart was, man, how can we as gamers, as Christian communities, uh, all come together and raise money for Compassion International with a goal of raising $10,000 in a power stream. And so what this person did was he reached out to a few different people and crazy small world. He reached out to me for hideout and then was like, yeah, and I'm talking with someone tomorrow to talk to see if Life Church or Switch is interested. And I'm like, you're talking to me tomorrow. And he was like, wait, it's you. And so we talked again and we just talked for a while about, man, the, what are the possibilities? What can we do? And I just, my, my heart was, I just want to make the right connections for this person because I believe in it. What ended up happening was uh, Switch Online was like, man, we'd love to do something, but we don't we don't have the manpower right now. Is there is there someone else that can run something and fill this time slot? And I actually reached out to uh, one of my coworkers at Life Church who DMs, and we did a one shot with him recently, and he had a dream of what we could do even better and more. And I reached out to him and said, "How would you like to do that in two weeks?" And so he was like, "Absolutely." And so we have planned out the most interactive entertaining D, &D one shot i have i've never seen anyone do this and what we're trying to do and what we're trying to accomplish and the idea of it is that the chat the viewers determine a lot of what happens in the game as often as we can and so polls will go out different things will happen and our other goal is to get the players up out of their seats as often as possible and acting those things out so instead yes. of just rolling for a performance check, you do a performance check and people will vote on, yes, we'll give you a plus five to that performance check. Go ahead and roll for it. 
And so it is as That's often right. as possible. A random bard shows up and challenges you to a dance battle. Uh, what do you do? And so we have a whole green screen wall that we're going to have set up that we can walk and actually be in the game, step in front of and uh, interact with. So I get that. Sorry, that went way into detail. All I know is I'm no, so really awesome. pumped for it. And, and then yours uh, truly is going to be helping uh, facilitate yes. it. So yes, uh, Seth if you are be answering the polls um, <clears throat> and, and, you know, if it's not going fast enough, you can still blame Austin, but yeah, you can blame uh, me for. for everything. <laughs> but, uh, but we I'll will be the one trying to trying to get it uh, going uh, in the background. So, if you are yeah, following awesome. and listening here, and you check it out, you will see a familiar character that will be played slightly differently um, in this. And I'm actually a player in it, and I'll be bringing back Brutus Maximus, also known as Flopsy, uh, for this D and D, and it's. <laughs> I did some tweaks that I'm super, super pumped about and how it's going to play out is going to be, there's going to be some crazy antics. Exactly. It's a, it's a seven camera shoot too, guys. We've yeah, got we're using, seven. Oh it's going to be big. We're using minis. Yes. We're using all sorts of things. I printed it's be great. Here, let me just, let me just. So it is uh, twitch.tv slash unite the light. Is that correct? There, I, believe I, is. Believe. I believe it is. I believe it is. Uh, so Wherever if you want the camera to is, that's only one possibility. See, Austin didn't see it. What? Oh, oh come on. <laughs> uh, also, Colin's a player in it as well. Um, yeah, that's he's true. Playing so a Colin, very, very Colin saw fun it, character. Don't say okay. Uh, yes, it is. So go ahead and hit the follow button on twitchtv unite the light. Uh, we will be streaming from uh, 11 a.m. Central Time to 3 p.m. So 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. is when we'll be streaming on Unite the Light. Uh, is yes. when we'll go central. live. There's a yep central. So if you look on their site, it'll be it says noon to four. That mm -hmm. is uh, Eastern. Eastern. Time. So, and the person who is actually so it's going to be is it a 24 hour stream or is it a is it just uh, two days? I think days? there's a break. It's more than it's okay. two days, but there I believe it's a break. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not a quite a 24 hour or 48 hour stream, it, but it is yeah. going to be like two days of streaming at least. Um, and the person going in just before us, Austin, um, is uh, Bearded Blevins. Uh, I don't. I think that might have changed unless he was confirmed. He, and I didn't see it. he listed the time slot on his schedule this week. The and link, I, by the I, way. And I said, and I said, and I said, that's that Friday stream is going to be lit. And he was like, he gave me a little winky face. So. It's like, honestly, so, I like, mean. I if want that's not confirmed, many, I don't know what is. I want as many D and D fans that that love it to join into this. That's right. Um, because it, this is, this is the idea that's been in our heads for a little bit. It's gonna be awesome. And so we're gonna hope that we raise a lot of money, but it's also a chance for us to see how does this. It is for charity, so that's also important to remember. There are gonna yep. be T-shirts to buy that also go to towards the charity. It's gonna be so cool. Anyway. Let's move on, uh, because I think it's that time, guys. Friday, time Igsley, Friday, this Friday, and Saturday, actually. Time to see Rowan die. I did, right. put a, uh, I did put a uh, link, by the way, for it. Spiders yeah, falling on them. Um, all right, well, with that, join us by the hearth, and let's forge a new adventure. All right, so let's pull that music down because that's probably loud in your ears. Um, no, I'm good. So, <laughs> last time on Hearth and Hammer, having found a lair entrance after following the mysterious memories that Pete and Lee, is the two of you guys? Uh, the memories. Pete and Theron. It's Pete and, and Rowan. It's Pete and Rowan. Pete and Rowan. I don't remember who. Um, <laughs> just the DM. They got poisoned. And some of those poisoned. guys. <laughs> uh, Pete. I remember Pete was getting it. Pete and Rowan uh, experienced the Hubbard of Heroes forayed into the fungal-filled cavern. 
After deflating a dozen deadly spores, the party discovered several screeching mushrooms, silencing them after a few moments of slashing swords. Following the memories of the bygone beholder, the crew discovered a hollow pillar and an old dusty box. Before, but before they could investigate further, Therden was thwacked by the first of many giant spiders. The Delvers defeated the spiders and began recovering from their ordeal. So, heroes, the last of the spiders uh, lay twitching, you know, the legs curling up around it as uh, this, you know, kind of screeching happens and you all stand there in the, you know, adrenaline rush of, of post-battle. Um, what do you do? I go back for whatever was shiny that I seen right before I got smashed. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, uh, Thurden's upset. <coughs> Man, that spider bite must have done something to feel kind oh. of. <sighs> oh, oh, Lordy. C- come over here, Bard. Oh, Lord. Oh, and for uh, a minute, I thought maybe you were going crazy. You started running and swinging your swords around, doing nothing. Did you get stung uh, or anything? As uh, yes, uh, but as always, I had a plan. Uh, can I? I'm but, gonna go ahead and cast uh, protection from poison on him, okay. which will neutralize that, it. Does it, it neutralize it, it as well? Yeah, it says uh, touch a creature. So I'm gonna walk up, touch him. If it is poisoned, you neutralize the poison. Um, so Jay says, uh, Jay says, uh, are you sure you had a plan? Uh, yes. How much? Of uh, it it was a it was a great plan if the spy oh oh in wow <laughs> I feel I feel so much yeah. better that was... don't don't go grow and attach or nothing like that calm down <sighs> wow uh, it's kind of it's well, uh, fantastic uh, <clears throat> so uh, yes uh, I had a plan that I had been working on uh, typically uh, all creatures when we get into a battle tend to go after me first and the plan was geared towards that um and for the first time in many fights they scattered and ran away from me <laughs> normally normally probably i'm the first to be sti- there it's probably why you're still on your two feet no my plan was great <clears throat> i will show you my plan and so <laughs> oh no <laughs> let me hang on I'm, I'm i don't have all my things pulled up just yet uh, I will begin to spin my swords <laughs> in a in a in a rhythmic pattern, as everyone seems to be looking and watching. Um, Back up from touching him, I'm, I start backing up when the swords start swinging around. And they begin to sw- spin faster and faster. I get my get my hips going in there too, and uh, I will. As they, as they begin, they almost seem to be morphing together and the movements seem to somewhat mesmerize and daze. And I will cast on everyone just because I want to test this out and I want to use it. Uh, hypnotic pattern. Oh. So in a 30-foot cube, anyone that can see this within a 30-foot range um, must make a wisdom saving throw of 15 or be charmed. Okay. Um, I have event advantages against getting charmed. Yes. Is this a saving throw? Jace does not. It is a saving throw. Uh, plus five. I got a 19. <laughs> everybody gets, uh, well, whoever's within 10 feet of me gets plus two, but everybody else does not. So I got 21. <laughs> and Jace? Jace got what? No. What Jace get? No. Are you rolling? Oh. No. I yes. Um, that is a games. nineteen without um, <laughs> anything. Is, your plan is failing miserably. What? Pete, uh, Pete, please with, tell me. With succeed. the plus two. Yeah. Eleven. Oh, oh no. you, you look over yeah. as this. Hold on. Because if on. you were Anwin has to roll too. Yeah, he got twenty. Uh, Jace got twenty-eight. <laughs> Plus six, and I got my left. I think Jace is good. This is yeah. this is going about as well as I thought it would. To be honest, <laughs> like this is both in the <laughs> fight and in. And you would have charmed roll, one spider. Uh, what was it? Uh, wisdom. 15. Fifteen. Wisdom. 
Oh, yeah, she's good. <laughs> I gotta use I gotta use the little die for Anwin. Oh, there you go, there you go. I don't even have my dice. Uh, let's see, fourteen plus two plus two, so uh, eighteen. Eighteen. So yeah, it's so just so you, be... you look over as this. Oh, uh, and she's a fey know. magical creature, so I'm pretty sure she has advantage on that anyway. This spider goo covered halfling, <laughs> if you recall, yes, he is, is just mesmerized. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I shake my head at him. What an idiot. This yeah. is what you were going to do to the spiders? Oh, that's the most incredible thing I've ever seen. What is he's, wrong? Uh, it's rude. He's now incapacitated for uh, a solid Anwin, minute. Anwin, Anwin um, she Just... flies around in front of you and, and sees the display that you're putting on, and she claps excitedly. Like, oh, that is very good, very good. I'm sure the spiders would have been very distracted by it. <laughs> there's a lot of there's a lot of dancing going on. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! So, are you going to give us a preview of the? Uh, she's she's where you like acted out. She's in the yeah. air, floating, but like dancing along with you. You know, like just the swords. Well, spinning. you do. You have the swords, and you have an area you can dance. Right. I mean, I don't see oh, why. No. You know what, guys? If we're gonna do this, we're gonna. Oh do my it, right? god. <laughs> Iggsy, get ready for a clip. Oh, God. Yeah. hovering over the clip button right he's, now. You know about, it's happening. He's about to play. <laughs> not, nope, not what I thought. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, guys, his breaker's going to trip. <laughs> <laughs> his breaker's going to kick him offline. <laughs> there it is. Right there. That's that's much better than I thought we were going to see. For I'm second. pretty sure the mustache I, is what's so mesmerizing. Yeah, what I can that's see I can see why he got Alyssa with all these dance moves and the mustache. Yeah. <laughs> it's so hard not to laugh. What do you think, Thurden? How is it? Huh? <laughs> working? Is it working? I'm no, gonna shake. I'm gonna do exactly it? what Thurden would do in the game, and I'm gonna shake my head at you and just walk away. Yeah. What do you think, Pete? How is this? What? <laughs> I think it's playing a song. Hey, let me turn this. <laughs> oh my! God. Perfect. Uh, awesome. Thurden would shake his head and just start walking back towards the tree or the stalagmite we broke and, open. Anwin is giggling and and spinning around and dancing in the air with him. Uh, Gotta maintain concentration. I can't quite Has it tell. Been a solid if, minute yet? I can't quite tell if if Pete's. Uh, if Pete's frozen or if Colin's <laughs> frozen. Oh, it's, it's Pete. <laughs> Pete's incapacitated with let's eyes just, wide open. Let's just bring up all of our stuff. Well, that all was it. Issues. What'd you guys, uh, what'd you guys think? Guys, I don't, I don't know why we good. keep him alive, to be honest with you. He's... I know, you guys are impressed. Oh, huh? and that was incredible. Uh, I see, I, I see how, how that, uh, those lights in there at all, but that was... I see how that spider fell on you. It must have just been so Guys, distracted. I promise I didn't cast any spells other than protection for poison on him. I swear whatever he's doing, I had nothing to do with. You should have. That was <laughs> incredible. Oh, Lord. Oh, the halfling's lost his mind. Okay. Back to me, treasure. And I can't think of a better way to burn a third level spell slot. <laughs> Been trying to it's not really a third level persuade spouse. his party. And there's the clip. It's great. Yeah. That's oh right. my gosh. <laughs> I don't think we're allowed guys to have an in-person D <laughs> session. This could be too wild if we do. Oh my All goodness. Right. <laughs> Uh, so Rowan what is the party? So, so Theridan, you turn and you walk off. What, I just shake do? my head at him. I start heading back toward the the hole that we got. The, in the... pillar. Okay. Yeah. I think all that's yeah, left still head, here head is, is Pete and Rowan still. Rowan still dancing. Pete's still. He's there. the only one still there. <laughs> Monk, I'm telling it, you. Anyone's there, but she's dancing around you, just joining in. It's not like she's, she's a backup. By she's it, a backup dancer. Yeah. If. If She's... if one of these creatures don't take him out, I'm she, going oh, to oh okay, here you go, here you go. She summons, I, I she summons make floating it lights around you. Oh, that was actually it. the lights. That was the lights. She <laughs> light I could make it in there. Hey, you might have to. Uh, you might have to duel him and punch him's face in this time, instead of my own. 
Oh, man. I'm kind of tired. I wish I... He survives one fight and his head gets huge. Starts dancing around and celebrating. Oh, it seems to have only worked on Pete. Oh, we're... Hey. Hmm? I, left, I saw something shiny before it's landed on me back of my head, but uh, I, I wonder what's in there, Lee. Let's uh, let's take a peek. Hi. Is somebody what? Huh? Oh, you said no. Oh, you said a peek. Sorry, my bad. You're good, Pete. Oh lordy. All right, I'll so I'm gonna yeah roll an investigation check. Yeah, I, I was guess. gonna say. Um. Okay. So you're you're over investigating the pillar with him. Mm, yeah. <laughs> okay. You want us to both roll, or you just want me to give him the help action? Uh, either way. Oh, that's a 19 plus zero. Okay, yours is much better than mine. Mine is a two plus zero. <laughs> hey, both <laughs> one away from an actual something. Yeah. I'm still looking up scared something else is going to drop down on me as I'm going yeah. in. So so Theoden and, and Lee walk over to the pillar. <laughs> uh, they look up, or, or, or Theoden goes over and and paranoid as he is right now he looks up purely uh you know looking to make sure nothing else is coming out of the hole at the moment and um and what happens is is lee reaches down and and dusts off this uh dusty kind of box of some kind and and, uh begins to, to pull it out um so well while that's going on yeah, I'm going to go ahead and open it if I can. While that's going on, I'm going to say to Pete, Pete, uh, do you want to see the dance again? Sure. I thought it was wonderful. I'm here, <coughs> I'm here to support you as much as I can. Um, well, I'm trying to so, work on it, but maybe later. We'll do it later. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Lee, what you see before you is a small wooden box. It's actually about... Um, say about 14 inches long and then about um, about four inches by four inches uh, mm-hmm. uh, and it's uh, got a clasp on it uh, and you you said you, you opened it mm-hmm. okay um, you actually find that it is locked I'm going to try to unlock it then I hold it there. I'll unlock it for you. Let's see if we can do it a little bit more delicate first. Hey, okay. Use your nimble fingers. Uh, dirty 20. I'm doing really good with rolls today. Okay. Um, it's going to be a wand. It's going to be a wand. It's going to be a wand. <laughs> I like the way you're thinking, Exley. <laughs> um, hold on. Nothing's locked with third. It's a right. second wand of smiles. Now Rowan and I. <laughs> 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 I third will be upset that. if that's what's in there, and he got bonked in the I have back the of the head. Smiles. <laughs> you should have cast it on us while you were doing the dance. <laughs> What was I thinking? That would have been incredible. You could have cast it on. You could have cast it on Pete because he was incapacitated, right? You just start grinning while he's laying there. Yeah, probably would have auto failed. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, Lee. Can I have my charges Make back? That's good. A dexterity saving throw. Yes, my favorite. Uh, you are with. You I do have a trap. Too. You do have a plus two, by the way, because you're. With, I'm standing next to you while we're doing this. Actually, you make a hey. dexterity saving throw, throw two, Theoden. Ah, that's fine with me. What'd you get, Lee? Uh, I think. Um, Pete and I are sixteen. Theoden, that's I got a. I got a nineteen plus three, so twenty-two. Okay. And I'm asking yeah. Pete for feedback, ways to improve. <laughs> I actually rolled kind of bad. I got a. Uh, what seven natural but i just have a plus nine to it with you got, your you plus two nine. yeah with your plus two i got a plus nine to that saving throw nice so and i think <laughs> maybe if you you know wipe off whatever spider goo or i don't know if that's a spider leg that's on your face but that was like the only thing that was bothering me you turn, uh, the, this, 
Yeah, oh, whatever trying, that is. I was, I was trying just... something new uh, this morning when I was. Wait, you didn't have that earlier. Did that happen <laughs> in the fight? Did I accidentally set you on? F Did I burn off the rest of your facial hair when I, you know, burnt the spider webs earlier? Oh god! I, thought... I almost spit that water out. Well, after the third and threw a spider on me, I went and sat down. Uh, and during that time, I thought, you know, now's a good time for a shave. Um, and so I went ahead. Okay. So both of you, uh, Lee, you and Theoden are sitting there. And Theoden, you're mm -hmm. looking up, making sure there's no spiders. And um, Lee reaches down, and he finds this little box, and he starts fiddling with it. And he's like, click. And uh, he, he gets the lock disengaged. Uh, but as he does, this jet of fire goes <laughs> right between you as you both go, Whoa! and it just catches both of you halfway, uh, and you take 11 points of fire damage oh. as uh, you only take Oh my half gosh, I rolled roll a 22! <sighs> uh, that was half, well, you, you made the check. Oh, because you, you made the check. Otherwise, yeah. it would have been 21. You said 11? Points. So 11 points of fire damage hits Come both on. of you. Um, Look at Titan. We should have had Pete open this. Uh, I think Pete's creature. I would have just kept us on fire. Listen, I'm not fireproof. I just know how to use it. All right. I'm I'm checking my eyebrows, make sure they're there. My beard. Uh, Y'all should have had Rowan stand near it. Get rid of whatever that thing is. Matting the matting the We're bird singed it. hair on. <laughs> not keeping it. <laughs> the spider leg. Uh, okay. So the jet of flame erupts almost like it comes out of the keyhole kind of thing. And it's, and it's just like uh, almost like kind of like a, a burning hands or something where it's almost like a kind of cone that like goes between you guys and like hits the ceiling. You should have um, let me smash it. So it, it stops. Uh, and, and again, you've, you're still holding it, uh, Lee, but you, you're able to open it at that point. Okay. Uh, so with, with your roll, you unlocked it, but you didn't disable the trap. Uh, because it well, was an arcane, arcane yeah, I didn't. trap. So, mm -hmm. um, so yeah. So you you get that uh, open, and what you find inside is a scroll of some kind. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna look at the scroll. Uh, do you have Arcan arcana? I do not. Okay. Uh, so you pull it open, and you can't understand it. Why is this? Can you read this, Thornton? Does it say it could crush something? I don't know quite what it says. Uh, uh, we'll get uh, Jace uh, and see if Jace can read it. Read it. I think the closest person we have that we've been using is Pete. Oh, I don't know why. <laughs> if you want. You're the only spellcaster that I can think of. Can uh, Jace read it by chance? Um, does Jace Let have... Um, he does not have proficiency in Arcana, and he knows Celestial Common and Halfling. Okay. Um, uh, Ar Arcana isn't... Is there a well, specific language? So you n none of you can read it. I believe. Okay. Um, but you do recognize it as some sort of scroll. Could be, um, you know, probably a spell of some kind. But you, you don't know. None of you have. I mean, we can, we can put it in the bag of holding, and we can act as Wiltix when we get back. Uh, I mean, that was my thought at exactly this point, that. does anyone have? Can anyone? Does anyone have proficiency in Arcana? I don't think any of us do. Mm -hmm. Nope. Let's, okay. Uh, and you don't even know if it's a, a spell. Do you, I mean, it could be do you a not have, laundry list. Do you not have it, Rowan? You have like proficiency in everything. Uh, half proficient, right? <laughs> I have a plus one to it. I'm half proficient in Arcana. I mean, I also have a plus one to it, but but I'm half pro proficient. I mean, uh, proficiency would be um, in your skills. Yeah, I no. think he's half proficient like everything. Yeah, he's everything he's not proficient in, he's half proficient. Well, let me take a look at this. 
Yeah, Jack so of dumb. all trades. Like I looked at it and I was like, how does he literally have at least half a circle filled in on every single thing? It might be uh, uh the bards suck this. at everything else, so they gotta give you some sort of buff. combat. Yeah. No, thank you. <laughs> Has that proficiency have, in everything. I have done plenty of damage and taken out whole groups of you've people. received plenty of damage. I hey, Anwin, can you read this thing that no one of us can read? Oh. Do you know what this is? Uh, Anwin call. flies over and says, oh, I no, I can't read it. It looks interesting yeah. though, and that yeah. that, fl that fire was cool. No, the fire it. was not cool. Can I give Almost it a try cool. since I'm half proficient? But disadvantage, maybe. Uh, I would say so. Uh, so like it's gonna be uh, plus two instead of plus four on your on your proficiency. Or no, I'm plus only a plus three. One, so yeah, it's just plus one. Uh, yeah, I would say disadvantage. On it. With advantage? No, disadvantage. disadvantage. <laughs> He's like, it doesn't get any worse than my two. Not... <laughs> uh, that would be a 10. Okay. Um, you are able to tell that it is magical of some kind. That's about it. Ah, yes, it's magical of some kind, but that's about it. The fire blast that came out um, of us told us it was probably magical or something. I'm saving this. I I don't know if now would be a good time to use it or not. And I'm going to pull out the uh, scroll of identify. Ooh. Okay. Now, can anybody... Can anybody uh, learn how to cast this spell at some point? <laughs> It'll be the bard. You can uh, I'm probably half proficient. <laughs> <laughs> I can read half the words. <laughs> so I'm going to give him the identify scroll. Okay. What does that mean? Uh, so basically, it's a one time use spell. And as someone who can use uh, the arcane, you can try to cast it. Um, now, you do have to roll to actually successfully cast it. And is that is that roll based on anything or is it is it it's just a like first a level spell so it's not it's not terribly difficult. I've got plenty of those first level spells. Okay. Well you don't, you don't use, have a use a spell use slot a because spell. it's a yeah. You just have to be proficient in Ar arcana in order to use it. And because it's not a spell that you know uh, you do have to roll in order to successfully even cast it. So if you roll like a two, then it would not work. So, Lee, uh, there's a chance that this won't work. Would you still like me to try? I, I would say yes. Perhaps this rule is something that we could... Um, use while we're down here or maybe it's okay so, uh, can I, let me as this. someone else that casts spells can i try to help rowan figure out some uh, of the movements or whatnot if they're written in probably not i think it's, i it's based very... on my dance i think i have the movements down oh lord oh, <laughs> if he dances i'm hitting him spell or no spell he said I, it's just a straight roll yes Okay, uh, so, uh, I'll, okay, I'll have this paper here in uh, third in, or whoever's holding the box, hold it out in your hands in front of me. Lee. Or the Lee. other scroll. Hold it out. That I can <coughs> this scroll as I identify that scroll. Um, and I, nat 20. Nice. Oh, I thought it was going to be the other nice. one. I thought it was going to be the other way. <laughs> I am so glad Very I saw nice. that little crack. Nice. That is amazing. That's awesome. And you have just identified a spell of identify. I was hoping. That, <laughs> <laughs> I okay. was hoping that if I failed, Seth would have had me identify Lee. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you have identified it's a monk. A, an it's, elf monk. It's, wow. <laughs> it's a whole monk, half elf monk, or full elf. Half, full, yeah, half full elf. elf. Yeah, not a half breed like you. <sighs> Easy. <laughs> 
Uh, okay, yeah. so you find. Um, let's see. Hold on. First of all, uh, with your natural twenty, sir, what does your casting look like? Very similar to my dancing. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Let me show you. <laughs> no, no, no! I'm just kidding. <laughs> Third and raises um, his hammer. <laughs> In my eloquent speech, I read the words as precisely uh, and and rhythmically as if a poem as possible. As okay. I'm holding out my hand, holding the paper here, holding them out my hand towards the other scroll. Uh, he says, can I, can, I, can I give you some words? Yes, obviously. You're hocus helping. pocus, alakazoo, I now know what you do. Oh, that's exactly what I say. He said it so perfectly that I thought it was me saying it again. (laughs) Awesome. Um, Okay. So what you have found is a scroll uh, called uh, Rary's Telepathic Bond. It's called what? Uh, It's Telepathic Bond. Uh, it basically allows up to eight willing creatures within range of your choice to psychically link uh, to each other for the duration, uh, being able to speak telepathically for one hour. <laughs> okay, everyone, I've properly identified this, and we are able to link telepathically and speak to each other in our minds up to eight of us so would be you're able to hear this I'll for hear one your voice whole in my head hour for an hour I don't even like yes. hearing your voice outside nope, I'm of good. me and I walk off I think we need to utilize this Lee don't let it right happen at some point uh, we should oh sure at some point <sighs> hold on till to the close the box or I actually there did you had to put it in there yeah Put uh, in the bag of holding. It would be wise of us to save it for a time when we're probably going to have to split up. Uh, good thinking. Divide I'll up. I'll put a link to that in the uh, session chat so that you know what it okay. is. So you can add it later. Yeah, I'm I'm just writing a note here to add it to my bag. So, all right. So, uh, you all have found the hidden treasure in the pillar. Or do you want to do anything else in here? Is that is that all that was in there? Uh, that was all that was in the pillar. It looks I don't like the way you said that. Thornton's gonna just start smashing everything. <laughs> Go for it. Um, do I? Like, do we think am, there's more in the I other pillar? To, am I able to ch- kind of channel my past with the with the thingy? Can I walk over to the dead beholder um, and very <clears> cautiously <throat> reach out to it? And just try to remember where anything else might be to have a hint. I'm gonna um, smash the next pillar. Sure. Why don't you first make a make an investigation check? Don't fail me. Uh, we're going big dice here. Because you you haven't really looked around yet. Okay. This Theoden was. That's a nat one. Went from a nat 20 <laughs> to a nat one. That's the road we know. When he looks around for something, he Big sees dice. nothing. <laughs> All right. Just going in dice So jump. you go to the mound in between the two pillars, and you begin searching. Um, but all you find are, like, all these little mushrooms that are sprouting. Um, they're not big enough to have burst yet, but... Uh, you also see like all this like what looks like rocks uh, just kind of piled haphazardly you know so, like there's some big ones in some areas and some small ones in others and they're covered with mold and and you're just really not sure what's here oh by the way Rowan just real quick uh, for an hour you have advantage on saving throws against being poisoned and resistance to poison damage uh, with that one I probably think the one of these little mushrooms is uh, magical and I'm I'm thinking about taking a bite out of it. <laughs> I shouldn't have told him that. <laughs> so I 
the DM is just like, what? All right. I'm smashing the other Rowan, pillar while Rowan, he's looking around. Hold on. Wait. You're smashing you, the other pillar? Rowan, mm -hmm. okay. you remember the last time that Lee tried to eat one of those? Roll he said, no, and you don't do it. Hey, uh -huh. I want to point out that I ate it and there was no adverse effects. Maybe don't do it. He's weird. We know. I don't remember what my uh, hammer is. Uh, that would be a 17. Okay. You swing and um, you take a big chunk of the pillar, but it's pretty solid. I, this one's not hollow, guys. Oh, oh. You guys hear this uh, as as oh. Rowan is trying to look over this mound and uh, just seems very confused. Um, you see Theoden walk over and swing away at the other pillar, and and he takes chunk out of it, but he doesn't. It doesn't uh, appear hollow or anything. So. Anything else you guys want me to hit? Other than Rowan. Thurden, have you tried one of these? Uh, you probably shouldn't do that. Hmm. Uh, okay. Two of you. Perhaps it can give you more insight into this uh, creature. And uh, I thought we were going to kill him. I didn't think you wanted the mushroom to do it. The mushroom won't kill him. He'll be fine. Is anybody going to say anything? Just get ready. I'm gonna go try to search the spiders, see if there's anything worth if I can like maybe get their fangs or something or poison would, sacks or would I don't Jace, know. Fact, would Jace want to um, investigate the, the mound too Lee, as a dead thing? Lee, make a nature check. Uh, yeah, so Jace, he looks around at what you're doing and he comes over to, to, to begin looking as well. Um, and uh, Colin, what are you doing? Can I can I inspect the surrounding cave walls? I thought was going to do the same thing. Just yeah, absolutely. On so, yeah, let's uh, have the jury check out the walls while everyone else checks out the spiders. It's cool. It's cool. Yeah. Uh, what Pete, if I Pete, uh, Pete, roll a investigation check. Hey, seventeen. You okay. guys looking at walls? I know a thing or two about walls. If you need any help. Uh, <laughs> Lee, how about you? What was your nature check? <laughs> Could it be a survival instead? It was a 13 straight Okay, 13 okay. straight roll. Um, so looking at these spiders, um, you're not exactly sure what would constitute like the most profitable pieces. Um, you could definitely roll a survival check to try and harvest said things, but just <coughs> simply inspecting them to see what it is. You're not quite sure what would be something to keep. Uh, they're giant spiders. You you know that, um, you know that they're kind of their carapace is kind of a, a light gray. Um, it's hard to tell in here. I mean, it's pretty dark still. You just have a few faintly glowing uh, mushrooms in here. Uh, and Anne Wynn's dancing lights back there that are strobing still. It's true. Hey, Pete, yeah. uh, you make stuff with weird things, right? Like potions and stuff? I mean, sometimes, yeah. Do you want any of these spiders? Uh, sure, why not? Who knows? Maybe we can make some uh, some for poison, maybe? Then I'll just get some whatever. I'll probably go for, like, try to get fangs or something, or... Okay, However you want roll me to a do survival it. check with disadvantage. Um, no need for disadvantage because that's a nat one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we are dropping the ball, boys. So Lee uh, goes over and he starts to try to harvest and like you know, <coughs> he starts to like you know try to work on it and then he's like <laughs> and he like breaks you know the carapace off right and it's kind of oozing out and I think kind of goes again and like, you know like pulls open the carapace and he's like looking for some sort of like you know poison sack or something of, of you know like a gland right and he's just like puncturing things he's not actually like oh, there's nothing is saved nut. he's <laughs> he's basically ruined all of them <laughs> Lee I th there or Pete they didn't uh, smash them all to bits uh, there's nothing here to save I, I, just... I only hit two of them roll a deception check if you want Yes. Oh, that's a strong 
five? <laughs> Lee, I just I just watched you ruin all right. <laughs> <laughs> This could be a great night with these rolls. <laughs> we are, we are. Chill. They're really. Com- I need to get you in some combat stat. <laughs> yeah. yeah, my be- my best roll has been against uh, an inanimate object. <laughs> hey, I identified right. a scroll. So, um, so Jace is over there with you, Rowan, and he is um, trying to help you investigate. He's like, uh, Rowan, I believe you're looking over in the wrong place. Look over here, and he's gonna give you help. So. Roll again for your investigation. <laughs> yeah, I got a 17 on, on the surrounding walls. Okay. Uh, while he's looking, um, Pete, you're looking around. You see down below, it um, looks like a cave. But what you do see is that up, up top, there are dozens of what looks like uh, passageways of, of different kinds of like cavern, you know, almost not a honeycomb per se, but like that's where the spiders came from. Um, pretty good. How long? Pretty pretty visible there, but they're about fifteen feet off the ground. So. How long did that flight last on me for, by the way? How long did the the, the flight? The f- yeah. Oh, uh, I think it was a minute. Yeah, it was just okay. a minute. So okay. <clears throat> it's done. Uh, I rolled a nat twenty for my investigation that time. So from okay, a one, one to two. Tw- All right. <laughs> You, you can't roll anything in between there, Ron. <laughs> yeah, nope. All right. It's this so dice right here. This with, one in particular. Uh, with uh, <laughs> with Jason's Monk. careful guidance, you begin searching over in this large mound of um, where you believe you know this um, beholder corpse is, and um, you begin to look around again. You, you do see remnants of. Um, what was this beholder's nest, if you will, kind of thing? Not, not like a bird's nest where it's like you know whatever, but like basically it was its it was its home, it was its um, resting place, uh, it was you know its its kind of personal space, uh, and you see what looks like, uh, like like I said, the mold and the fungus here has just overgrown this entire platform. And it kind of arches over, uh, you know, in this in this orb-like shape. Uh, you see, you know, this this growth and everything. Um, and so you're able to kind of look at it. But as you as you move around it, you realize that this from the front, what looked like where the beholder was, it was in very much in the shape of a beholder. Um, Coming around the back side, it's actually hollow. There is no corpse or skeletal remains. Um, it's and it's and it's broken on the on the back, and so you've got this kind of arching uh, half dome on the front that looks like maybe there was a beholder. Um, with a natural twenty, you realize there was a corpse at one point because beholders don't really; they just always float. So at one point it was laying here at this weird angle from the growths and everything, but but it is no longer there. The corpse is no longer there? Or like Correct. It's, so it's a loop. Are you saying that it has eroded oh. away or that... Uh, it does not look like anything is has decayed. It's just so, gone. Uh... It is an empty tomb. There's a... First off, there's a hollow bit here, but the more concerning thing, and I guess I'm talking to Jace because he's right over by me, is um, this is not a corpse of a beholder. In fact, there is no corpse. It's just gone. You think maybe that was the, uh, the big bubble thing that we saw earlier? Oh. Rolled high for my investigation, but rolled low for my intelligence. Possibly. What are you talking Wait, about? The roll, you weirdo. What, <laughs> what big was... bubble thing? Um, bubble you guys bubble. were able to determine those. The, the spores were spores. <laughs> okay. um, what you Understood. what you did learn, and what, uh, Pete, I believe you were able to determine uh, with your roll uh, earlier about the spores, was that they. 
they are spores that grow from a deceased beholder. So, and, and, it, and as you look at this mound, this very much looks like the epicenter of where these spores have been coming from. I mean, you guys found like two dozen of them here, Oops. and they were kind of... <laughs> So perhaps somebody, yeah, perhaps it was moved. Uh, maybe the think, spiders, perhaps. You don't think somebody's no, trying to bring them back, or do no, you? No, you're not. You're not understanding. Like the mushrooms took over. This is how fungus works: is that it breaks down organic material, and then those became spores that then flowed their way. Is Rowan that the said that it didn't look like anything to kid. There was no bones. No, there's. That's because. That's because it all spores became spores. Eat it, bones? Fungus, mushrooms, fungus eats everything, becomes spores. Takes so if we want to hide a body, we just have to put it in mushrooms. He is the dirt master. Sure. As this is going on, I'm going to search the hollow spot. Okay. Right. Hey, there's a bunch roll of spider holes up above, check. by the way, so there could be <laughs> more. And fly. Uh, roll, roll, roll another investigation check. I'll give you with advantage. No. Yeah, I'll give you with advantage. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, advantage, you say. Investigation is a plus one. So 13. Okay. Um, you find... You find what looks like... Um, broken glass. You find, um, as you move things around, you find, uh, you find, you do find what looks like maybe, uh, as you kind of dig through some of the soft, uh, you know, loam of the fungus, um, about 23 gold pieces. Yes. Um... You find uh, yeah, that, that, that's about it. So, Baron, it'd be pretty funny if the uh, the mushrooms just collapsed on top of him. You saw him like, <laughs> him like why? <laughs> we'd have we'd have to we'd have to pull him out. Um, roll. Actually, that Rowan. was that was Rowan from 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 in the hollow spot. If he could hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, if that I'm gonna try to grab the opening and pull the opening down and see if I can pull the mushrooms down on top of them. On top of Rowan? Yeah. Thirdin okay. at this point is eating some, um, some travel rations. Both mushrooms. of you roll a <laughs> dexterity. Uh Rowan, you roll a yeah. Yeah, roll a dexterity. Rowan, you roll a save and uh Lee roll a check. Mm. Mine was only fifteen. Well, my rolled a four plus oh. six, so ten. Plus two for Theoden. Mm -hmm. It'd be plus two for both of us, right? Well, I'm yeah. not doing the same. No, it, you're, it's yeah, it's just same. So still you a do. twelve, so. So, uh, so he's able to pull down some of it, and it's you. You get some of that, like, you know, foresty bits on top of your, your hair, um, you know, and shoulders kind of crumbles and just falls. It doesn't like. You know, do a whole lot, but I still uh, think I'm already I'm crawling in it. I'm still searching. So if he yeah. still pulled that on me, it's more like I say, like on my back, because that would be the only thing kind of sticking out. If my yeah, I mean, like like I said, if he like it, it kind of crumbles a little bit, like because you rolled a natural twenty on your on your initial investigation there, um, you get the sense there was something here, and it yep. wasn't broken down. There was a dead thing here, and it wasn't broken down, so someone has removed this. There was evidence this. that it was kind of like pulled out or moved. I'm sorry, do you have to move the moss and stuff off of you? I can't, I can't understand what you're saying in there. Sorry. Uh, you, you missed it. You, you missed it a little bit, right? On your, on your face. Don't wipe harder. Hard, harder. Ha harder. No, here, let me, let me take it off with my hammer. No, no, no. <laughs> um, uh, what were we saying? Moss, the things. Oh, yes. Uh, it looks as though there was a. Uh, 
looks as though there was uh, a beholder here, but it has been removed. Something or someone has removed it. Well, suddenly, if, like a, a lot of things just happened. If that's gone, off. then do you figure that might explain why most of the treasure that we remembered has gone too? Uh, you think them spiders scared it off? Let's go up the hole. Nah, probably not. Pete, you want any of these travel mm. rations? Yes. All right. <clears throat> Should have put some in your pack. Okay. So, so are we following the spiders? Um, if you wanted to check out the the holes in the in the ca- cavern walls, the spiders came out of, it would be you would have to climb. They were about fifteen feet up. Uh, Titan, can I see the bag of holding for a second? Ah, uh, yeah. What you got? And I'm gonna start pulling out all the climbing equipment I brought with us. Um, the holes themselves are probably three to four feet across. Like the opening is that big? Yeah. Okay. They're not large, like you could stand up in them necessarily. Would I be able to like throw a uh, uh, hook or what are they called? Why did it just slip my mind? Grappling hook. Grappling hook up there and like see if I can catch it on anything and then use that to climb up. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure Theridan can throw me up there. Um, I mean, you can roll a like range attack to try to get the hook up there. I don't know if that's the Ooh, direction we should go at this point. But. That's a good uh, it's no uh, modif- or no proficiency, right? Just my dexterity for range? Yes. All right, yeah, that's a solid six. Uh, I go to throw it, and I just, like, shoot it directly in front of me into the wall. Yeah, you, you definitely throw it, and it, it clings off of the cavern wall. So it's about 15 feet up? Yeah. You guys, Jace isn't going to be able to see it in here for very much longer. <laughs> I think we haven't found anything so far, and we should probably get moving. J- yeah, Jace says, I... I- I do agree. I, I don't like being uh, in what appears to be somewhat of a dead end, and I, I don't necessarily look forward to <laughs> running around in uh, did there. tunnels. And I could, Especially I could jump you up spiders there. Here. You, you want me to? You want me to yeah. just jump you up there? <clears throat> yeah. Let me just get a quick look, and if if it okay, doesn't look I'm, like there's anything, then we can. Can I? Can I have out. him just like <laughs> climb on my shoulders and? Uh, and how, far, how far away is it? 15, 15 feet? feet up. I miss you step up there. Oh, well, you took all the fun out of it. I've, I've been waiting so, on one time to use Peerless Athlete, and, I, and you I, steal I it from me. <laughs> can I Can I stealth fully Misty step up there, still let them do it, and try to scare Lee when he gets oh, up into going. the hole? Uh, roll a slide of hand. Oh my gosh. That's only a 15. <clears throat> okay. Um, let's see. Let's see. Passive perception. Um, so, yeah. Lee and. Eh. If. if as I say, Lee, if you're if you're climbing onto Theridan's back, uh, I would say Jace is the only one that sees it. Okay, great. And then uh, I'm going to cast. Sees the castle. Now roll for a stealth to see if you oh. land quietly in the in the hole that they're trying to look into. Natural one. Natural. One. Natural one. This is when we need his nat one. Yeah. Uh, that is a sixteen. Well, okay. you're about to be scared. So, <laughs> maybe. Uh, once again, maybe. <laughs> once again, uh, so you do success again. Jace is the only one that sees you. So, like, <laughs> he's farther back, right? And 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 uh, Theridan and, and Lee are over, like, and he's like, all right, come on. Theridan, what were you going to do for Peerless Athlete? So, I'm going to cast my uh, Channel Divinity for Peerless Athlete. It allows my uh, distance for my long and high jumps to increase by 10 feet. Um, and so I'm literally just going to, w- I would figure I'd be able to jump the extra five normally. And I'm literally just going to like 
squat okay. down and just leap up. Okay, and, and Lee, try to get Lee, what him were you doing? up to that point. Once he leaps up, I'm just gonna kind of at okay. the arch, kind of try to jump up and grab onto the edge and pull myself okay. up the rest of the way. Well, with do you acrobatics. Have a, I was gonna, well, I was gonna say, as a monk, <laughs> you don't have the run up walls yet, do you? I don't, sadly. <laughs> oh, they don't get that yet. They can't run up walls yet. <laughs> Yeah, he's fly, only level six. Guys. Walk through yeah. walls eventually, you know. <laughs> but he's a monk. Okay, so uh, <laughs> Lee, roll an acrobatics. That bounced out. <coughs> All right, that is going to be a 21. Okay, so Lee, what does it look like for you to run at the wall and, like, kind of do that, like, you know, like, like, um, like kick up from uh, on the wall, like you know, kind of running, running, climbing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and okay. uh, I'm gonna get kind of like at the top of the hole and uh, kind of push off the top of the hole into a roll into the rest of the hole. Okay. So you, um, so as you're going, you both go for the same hole. Okay. And you, uh, Theridan uses his his um, ability and he jumps at the same time that you are kind of jumping, running up the wall, and uh, you both make it into the hole at the same time. And all of a sudden, in front of you, <laughs> is... <laughs> out of fear, I swing my hammer. <laughs> yeah, I'm making full, full attacks. Yep. Uh, I, I, out, out of fear, out of fear oh, this I is the worst thing hammer. I've ever seen. And what I think is, is I see a spider oh, this leg. Is I see a yeah, spider leg just coming in my face, and so I swing. Hanging off of him. Yeah. All right. Full attack. Uh, natural rolling. twenty. I was gonna say I was yeah. like natural twenty. Ah! I did not know. Ah! I'm nineteen, so twenty six. Rowan, I will give you a. Um, I think Rowan's about to drop. Dexterity saving throw. You do get plus two. You are. You are. You are. Yeah, he's, 10 feet he's within ten feet of you. <laughs> That's a twenty eight to hit. With a natural twenty six. <laughs> <coughs> uh that is a 20 not natural okay so you you as you uh now you don't have a weapon in your hand at the moment lee because you're doing the climbing that's thing, right? yeah okay uh, then it would be 27 so it'd be in that still i'll let you yeah. know <laughs> so basically you punch <coughs> it in the face okay uh, i'm gonna roll, use roll for uh, an strike damage i'm gonna use a can a key point to do a uh, stunning strike. No, you can't use it. It's point. signature. I always <laughs> no, do it on no. my first attack. No. I always do it on my first it was, attack. It was a reaction strike. It was not a... <sighs> it was, Theridan would have just swung prepared. his hammer out at him. <laughs> he just freaked out thinking he was going to get it. Yeah, Theridan, uh, he was able to avoid your attack with his I, with his dexterity check. At a 26? Oh, sorry. I thought you had a 19. I had a 19 um, plus 7. Plus okay. I, so I doubled the damage. You both hit him. Okay. I doubled the damage, right? I wouldn't have killed um, him. Because I, I got a natural 20? <laughs> yeah, sure. Golly, you're trying to... We were just talking That's 14 about killing points. Rowan. We're not actually going to do it. I wanted to knock him out. I'm sad. Oh, I got to roll damage, huh? Oh, crap. Uh, I'm, so I, that's, I'm it's say, 14 points for me. I only swung with one hand because I would have been jumping, so I wouldn't sure. have both hands on the weapon. Actually, hold on. You. I don't think you had your weapon at this point. I did because I was, I was smashing things with it. Well, you smashed it. Did you put it away to, to jump up there? You're doing your purely. No, I would have just feet? squatted and jumped straight up. Okay, all right. <laughs> I did max damage. Yes, on it. I tried so to eight. not. Uh, eight plus four is a twelve. Okay, so <laughs> I'm sorry, Rowan. I didn't try to kill Rowan, you. Rowan, <laughs> in his in his mischievous haste. <laughs> Uh, Every reaches plan over he has misty the... steps, and he's like, <laughs> and he, <laughs> and he appears there right as you're both jumping into the hole, and your re their reaction just punt you get punched in the face and a hammer to the stomach, just <laughs> hitting you, and um, you take so you take what uh, twenty six points of damage. Yeah, I'm. I'm... I'm seven health, and I just like the air's knocked out of me. And my, there's a little trickle of blood coming from my nose where I got. Oh my goodness! What? Oh, are, are you just, stupid right uh, now? Oh my goodness! Is this is this some sort of shapeshifter acting like Rowan? 
That was totally yeah. worth it to see your yeah. faces. <laughs> <laughs> I pat I pat him on the shoulder and I tell him next time I'll aim for the head and I'm gonna go ahead and do lay on hands on him. Uh, how much are you down? <laughs> Does seven help? Not, okay. How much what's your max? Thirty nine normally. Thirty nine. Okay, I'll yeah. give him I'll give him the full thirty that I have. Jeez, I'm gonna need some healing. <laughs> you just got healed for thirty. Okay. Awesome. So um, <clears throat> you're immediately healed. Uh, third, and what, what is your what is your healing uh, look like? So it's almost gonna look like because my power comes from uh, Morden. It's actually as I lay it on, it's not gonna be like a, a white. It's gonna be like a almost like fire coming, like the heat, the glow of a forge would be the 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 power that just emanates from my hand into his body. It's almost like a, like a like a, a low red, yeah. Like kind of like a molten metal, like yeah. out of a furnace, yeah. kind of red yeah. uh, glow to it. I like it. I like it. I'm gonna go uh, ahead and use my sixth level uh, or six, yeah, six level monk thing uh, to go ahead and heal him the final two. Just kidding. <laughs> okay. He's all got right. the most He's health out of all everybody yeah. now. Everybody else is hurt. He's not. Rowan is back to full health. No, I don't have a monk thing. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Like, we all, like, we all were like, yeah, it's in there somewhere. <laughs> I don't have a monk. There's no, I don't have a monk thing healing. for healing. There is a healing monk, and he is, that is a dope subclass, by the way. Um, just FYI. Uh, okay. All right. So you are 37 of 39 hit points. All right. All right so you all are standing here. Uh, you're crouched in this tunnel. I mean, it's it's a big tunnel as far as like, what you would think of like spider tunnels go how big I mean, is it well so so these were large creatures but you know how spiders will like flatten their bodies mm-hmm. and unfortunately like, yes and, yeah. and they'll <laughs> and they can get into tight spaces even though you're like whoa my gosh like yeah, i felt it on the back of my head that, how is that spider able to crawl in those small holes so it's it's smaller than you would think even though those large creatures were able to come out of it i'm only um, like three feet three, yeah third and you're able to stand up but lee and rowan are are their heads are like, you know, they're kind of crouched over. Um, you know, if they're standing up straight, then they're having to, um, you know, like their shoulders are touching the ceiling. So, hey, you uh, guys want to take a check out and uh, as see what's you, going on before we push back? Uh, if you want to look further into the tunnel, then roll me a perception check. Oh, no, that's that's not third and strong. Steve, the big die. That's okay. I got a 16. I don't think I had anything. Perception, nothing. It's wisdom. 16. I got a 17. Okay. Uh, so you look into the tunnel. You can see a little bit ways into <clears> it, but then it just becomes black. You see a couple uh, crossing side passages. It's. This looks like we might get lost like in this maze. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think there was a path back the other way that we could have gone. We chose this way as like, uh, possibly go here, but I think before the forest and the trees attacked us and the the blob thing. There was another Fuck. path we could have done. I think the path is on the other side of the forest, right? Wasn't it like on the other side? Of the... Yeah. So I you think... were on a path outside of this cavern. Right, right. And it, was and it goes through to the, along... the other side of the forest. Well, it was moving along the wall. Um, you followed it a ways down and then it curved and it went into the mushroom forest. The other direction looked like uh, it went towards, you could at the time, you could see over the, over the mushroom forest, you could see a waterfall in the distance. Hey, maybe we push back. Um, I, I don't know about you guys, but I'm a little bit tired. I could definitely use with a little bit of sleep. I think uh, we might need to find a, keep our eyes out for a safe spot to maybe make camp for the night. I think, uh, I think there was a little corridor right over here in this Beholder area. I don't think we should sleep in the Beholder area. That's just... Uh, Probably a bad idea, but we can ask. We can ask uh, Pete. He seems to know a lot about dirt and and mushrooms and stuff. I mean, he may be all right with his sleep in here, but uh, we'll, we'll see what they say. And Jace, he'll sleep when we tell him to. He may not be able to see. Hey, so we're back down. So you guys climb back down. Mm-hmm. Um, everybody, roll a dexterity check just to make sure you don't face plant. Mm-hmm. Uh... <laughs> Did you did you roll an actual one? Yeah, I rolled a one. Is this, 
This is stupid. The third it can't do nothing good. Like I, he gets he gets his I as well. <laughs> Roll the natural one? Roll the yeah, natural one. That one, buddies. Alright, so <laughs> I, I thought I was bad with rolling an eight. <laughs> I love that we this whole session has right. been. Hey, so we're done with the fight. Let's heal up. Oh, I took more damage. Let's heal the up. the tunnel at the same time. It's been a good thing we healed um, him before well, we did so this. So you know, you know when you see people that try to go through a door at the same time, <laughs> jam up. Right? You jam. Yeah, you jam up in this tunnel, and and it's it's like a Theoden sandwich because Theoden's shorter, and oh. Lee and and Rowan are on either side, and you all kind of like, Whoa. and then you like push out, but you all don't get your legs under you, and you all just face <laughs> forward. Into the ground. You all take three points of bludgeoning damage from. Yeah, he would have been dead had we not healed him. I was at seven. Yeah. Oh, okay, seven. Come on. Uh, so, uh, so I rolled an, a twelve total and eight plus four. I don't know if that changes okay. anything. Uh, but I'll take the four damage in or three damage. Three yeah, for three the damage. for the laughs. <laughs> uh, all right. So. Oh no! I definitely need the rest. My back. Oh. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay, so you all are going to. Uh, so, so you made it down. Jace is like. I'm curious what's going on with Jace and Pete as this whole thing has, has <laughs> so, happened. So Jace is, is standing there, Pete, and uh, he's he's watching everything kind of go on because he still has the, the dark vision from you at the moment. Um, but he he's the only one that actually saw Rowan Misty Step, and so he, he kind of <laughs> knew what was going on. Um, and he's just kind of sitting there chuckling to himself, especially as everyone falls out of this <laughs> hole at 15 <laughs> feet to the ground and land face first. Uh, yeah, he's, he's kind of laughing to himself. And when, uh, is, is falling, is zipping around you as you fall. Um, and then giggling at the, the hysterical look of three people literally all scrunched together face first in the ground. She's like, you guys are silly. Next time, let me go first. Uh, but you you're so slow. Jay says, uh, yes, uh, Anwen, good question. Uh, did you find anything up there? No, it's just a maze of tunnels. It, it doesn't look like it. We, we'd end up getting lost if we were up there. Uh, right. Rowan found she, out what the uh, my fist in Thurden's hammer looks like, though, up close. I, guess oh, he did. I wondered if he would. <laughs> I scared them quite well. It was hilarious. Uh, totally worth the pain. Uh, Every bit of it. Uh, good, good. Uh, but uh, I, I believe... Um, Pete, you should have seen their faces. Should've... They thought I was a spider. <laughs> it was hysterical. Saw that leg coming at me. Rowan has like a cough as he like starts. <laughs> uh, um, I'm still laying on the ground, by the way. J- <laughs> don't, don't Jace speak. is like, um, I don't know about you, but I, I wouldn't mind leaving this, this uh, lair. I we were just talking about that. I'm I'm feeling a little, a little famished and tired myself, and I, I was wondering if we might find a a safe place to to hole up and make camp for the evening and. I, Lee seems to think they'll be okay in here, but uh, you know, I, a dirt man, uh, Pete. Um, it, what, do, what do you think? I mean, you know these mushrooms better than most. Is pseudo familiar as I am with this area, I don't think we should be staying here. I we'll probably <laughs> head back to maybe that, um, you know, the way we were going before we came in here. Just because, you know, on the off chance that everything in here is not dead yet. I, uh, I, I believe uh, we were talking, there was a there was a path that went on to the waterfall uh, forward on. Maybe we can push up that way. Maybe there's an alcove or something. We can sleep behind the waterfall or something while we rest off our wounds. I know after that fall, I've got a, a few more uh, sore joints uh, that I need to rest up. Hey, no, let's go then. Hey. All right, so you all exit the, um, like the layer back through the entrance. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, so you walk out of this layer, back into the large cavernous, uh, 
you know, area where the forest, the mushroom forest was, the faint purple glow coming from the undersides of the all the mushroom caps here. Um, you, again, you look to your left and to the right, and, and you are on what looks like some sort of uh, gravel track uh, heading along the edge of the wall, like this uh, cavern wall that goes up further than you can see um, in, the, in the dark here. Um, and you, uh, to the right, uh, you remember, is, is kind of back the way you came and towards the, uh, the tunnel entrance that you came out of, and then past that, you think, might be the direction of the waterfall. And then uh, left is where that, the, the pathway kind of left and veered into the, uh, the mushroom forest. So you're heading... Waterfall. Towards the waterfall. Waterfall. Okay. All right. Uh, so you head that direction, and uh, you're able to travel for not too long, maybe... About 20, 30 minutes, uh, you get back to the place where you exited the uh, the tunnel that, that you had been traveling from the uh, where you left the boat. Uh, and then you keep going for another 20 minutes or so, and you come to kind of the, the gravel starts to become a little more sandy and the forest uh, of mushrooms kind of gives way to what looks kind of like um, this dark beach, almost. Um, again, the light from the forest is illuminating a large area, even though it's just kind of faint purple glow. Uh, and you can see up above, there is the waterfall um, that's coming down. Uh, you also see on the other side of the waterfall, it looks like there's another exit of maybe where the river um, is coming out. Uh, like maybe the river split, one went to a waterfall and one went to um, kind of a, you know, a, not quite a, a waterfall, but the river kind of came down, you know, so maybe some uh, a little more traversable way. Out on the shore, uh, roll a perception check for me. Eighteen. Nineteen. Okay. Out on the shore, uh, you do okay. see there is another dock. Another um, dock. Mm -hmm, there's another dock. Let me ask him for heels or rest. The dock over there. Uh, I would think that uh, this is probably where they were unloading cargo at. So I would think oh, like they, prob yeah, they probably got that area that we could probably use for a makeshift camp. Um, not like a dock, like you. Not, the... not like not like not like Jay's. No. Oh, sorry, I'm tired. Uh, I just can't really see. It's, it's all that dancing you there. did and jumping out in front of people with your spider leg on your face. Man, the, the Lee's right hook seems to knock something loose. I'm bit dazed still. Uh, so. It's called a tooth. You should oh, have yeah. knocked that spider off your face. Anyway, uh, can we... I, I'm going to head on over towards where the dock's at to see if, you know, maybe there's a place they would store cargo and stuff that they can okay. I'm, use. I'm going to pull out the needle of mending and attempt to mend the, the spider leg off his face. Knowing it won't work. But. Mend. <laughs> mend the spider leg. Um, <laughs> We're all not confused. applicable. Not applicable. I still he try. Doesn't really have. <laughs> I still try. Hey, wait. Let me see if I can make it grow a little bit. I'm gonna take the Get blade and see if I can must, shave it off. The mustache <laughs> stays for now. Is that uh, okay. is that what you're calling so that? So you you begin heading oh, down towards the dock. It's about uh, Thirden. It's about uh, 30, 40 feet from the edge of the mushroom forest to the water's edge and where the dock is. And is there any, like, at the at the end of the dock, the obviously the side that, you know, the boat wouldn't be on, but um, is there, there any, is, like, area where they would have had flattened it out for, you know, storing cargo while they're trying to so transport? So it's, it's a well-beaten um, area, like a well, like, t uh, packed down. Even though it is sandy, uh, you can tell there is, like, worn areas where 
it does look like things were were pulled off of you know those the kind of barge river barge that you were on uh there is actually two other barges there um that are uh one of them it looks like it's actually kind of half sunk uh on the edge there um still sinking out of the water though because it's uh shallow there kind of along the the beach area and then the other one is is tied up like they they brought in some stuff unloaded it and left so hey you guys uh, you want to make camp any, here you don't see any anything else there uh well roll roll a perception check again Lord. anyone else want to as well if you're there with him 16 this time that's better than better than my perception <coughs> I'll roll for Bioseas. Uh, um, actually, hold on. Jace is going to roll. Oh. Jace has a really high perception, so... He's usually the one that's found our campsites every that's other true. time. <laughs> uh, Jace rolls a... Let me find it. 27. 22. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, so Jace, 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 Jace <laughs> uh, he again, he sees all that you've seen there. Um, he also sees, kind of takes a few steps towards the edge of the water. Says, Anlin, do you see that over there? And she's kind of like buzzing around him at the moment. And he's looking across the water. Uh, because what you see as the, the water comes to this beach, it does actually look like it becomes a, a river again, moving uh, uh, further around through the forest. And you do see it looks like it goes through the forest, but there is kind of a large, um, large pond. You know, it's not quite a lake, but it's kind of a, a larger pond area. And you see very faintly on the other, cl close to where the edge of the dark vision is. There's a, a little bit of a glow, like maybe there's some other mushrooms over there on some sort of island, maybe. Not sure. And that's what <coughs> you see. Where are we see? thinking about camping, guys? I don't know. I'm a bad judge of that. What do you guys think? I didn't know if we needed to make camp yet. I'm not sure. I've got plenty of energy left. I have none. Um, Rowan, where would you make camp? Where would I make camp? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I thought the Beholder's Lair was a good place. And everyone okay, okay. Well, the options are here on the beach or over on that right. island, JC. Well, last time we just jumped onto an area, uh, you, a lot of you got wrapped up in some sort of rock tentacle thing. So your decision yeah. is which one? The beach? Or the island. Beach. Oh, oh, I dropped it. <laughs> <clears throat> island. Okay. What do you think, Ron? The beach. No, All wait. right, the island it is. Hang Let's on. go. <laughs> I think I actually got that. It, hey, it doesn't good. matter. So you said good. beach. It's okay. We're going to the island. <clears throat> <laughs> I don't know how to get over to the island. Anyone know how to? There's a boat. A, yeah, we just have a barge sitting there. That's right. That. So I'll get thing. on. Yeah, I'll, I'll climb up and wait for everybody else to get on. Start untying the barge. Are we going to be in the same the same stances as sure. the last time we were on a barge? Hey, okay. So I'll sit in the chair. Ah. So you you climb onto the barge, uh, and a similar situation. There's those kind of long poles that they would propel themselves with, as well as you know make sure that they steer clear of hitting any rocks or anything um roll uh every, let's see everybody roll a strength check <laughs> do i need to yeah everybody i'm not sitting in the chair oh you're sitting in the chair okay yeah because yeah, there's like four poles then they didn't that's like uh, overriding the one. strength based character does not roll a strength Guys. check well they did it so i couldn't like over push okay. someone they, if we they all rolled low it. we're not going to turn so that's a nat 20. natural 20. That's a nat I rolled a five. Six. Uh, somebody roll for... Uh, I'll roll. What's his strength? Probably a one, right? 
Uh, his zero. His strength zero. is a zero. Yeah, you yeah. have a sixteen then. Okay. Mm. Um, uh, Pete, was what was yours? Six. Six. Okay. So the monk and the <laughs> the monk and the uh, druid uh, start pushing, and they're you, you're not getting purchased. You're like pushing it into the sandy floor <laughs> of the river here, and it's just not doing anything. Uh, Rowan and Jace, however, are able to start propelling you towards the uh, towards the island. Uh, the island is is probably um, it's probably about 70, 80 feet from the dock. Uh, like I said, with what you saw, you could just barely make out some mushrooms on it, like the light from mushrooms. Uh, but you could tell it was kind of an island. It was right on the edge of that kind of dark vision at 60 feet. So uh, so you're heading over there. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, as you get closer, you do have to fight it a little bit. Uh, with two of you not really pulling your weight, it takes you probably about... I mean, I'm definitely you know, pulling mine. 15... 35 pounds. 15 <laughs> you know, minutes or whatever to get across this kind of like uh, m you know like I said it's a large pond but there's definitely the current of the river going kind of the middle and so you, it takes you a little bit to get past that you get over to what looks like this this little island here um, and uh, and you disembark mm. or are you uh, just kind of like getting I'm just going to like prep an action of some, of some sorts of like to attack and be I'm going to jump off and, so, because last time I'll, everyone got attacked, so I'm I am on guard, looking around, searching. I'll jump off. With, I'll jump <laughs> off with Theridan. Okay, so you jump off uh, in like a prepared a prepared state. Yeah, like, I jump Pete, off expecting Pete tie tentacle it off. monsters. Pete. <laughs> Pete's like, sure. I don't know what that means. <laughs> Pete roll. He just starts wrapping it. He just ties check. it to his oar, his little stick. <laughs> just ties it to his stick. Ten. <laughs> All right, you know. So Pete, you um, take the pole that you had and you like stick it into the sand uh, on the beach there, and you kind of wrap the rope around it. You <laughs> you tie it decently. I mean, you got a ten. You you you, you tie it to the this you know pole that you have but you're not really sure if the pole's secure or anything but you tied it to it so good job well done pete Thanks. completely completely average <laughs> i want to see what do i see in the in the island now that i'm there uh roll another perception check for me and uh somebody roll for jace uh, i got a 16 with no modifiers for mine okay jace got a 25. Okay. Perfect. So, looking around, you do see, uh, again, some mushrooms. Not quite as tall as the mushroom forest across the way proper. Uh, but you do see what looks like um, a little bit of a path going between a few of the mushrooms. How large is this island? It's a decent size. I mean, like... You're, you know, probably like um, the the side that you could see, probably about a, um, eighty feet. Like, okay. lo like looking at it, it's probably like eighty feet, like kind of long this way. Okay. I just, I just had a feeling that the scale in my mind was much smaller, so I want to make sure. It was bigger than, yeah, big, bigger than okay. that, bigger than that. Not just like some tiny little island that okay. you would be alone <laughs> with, you know. Uh, there's a path up here. Should we uh, head in? Uh, unless anyone else I... wants to double check this. This I don't know these ropes or something. If there's sure, whatever. I hop off. Tie, tie it to something strong. Not me, of course. <laughs> uh, it's I mean, it's tied to an oar. I think I did a good enough job. Let's just go. All right, let's go. Lee, do you want to take a look at that knot tying? I'll, I'll take a look, and I'll go over and just see, try to check, see how well the ore is in. Is there anything else I could tie it to other than the ore? Like, is there a big rock? Um, not really. I mean, you could try to pull it up a little further. It's it's definitely not as big of a beach, but it's, you know, probably about 10, 10 foot. 
to like the nearest of the kind of uh, let's fungal pull it onto shore. Yeah, <clears throat> there to help me with this. All and right, I'm gonna grab the edge and just try heaving it up on the beach. My roll on a strength well, check to pull this thing yeah. up. Yeah, athletics or athletics. <laughs> I don't think that actually benefit. Yeah, no. I will take a twenty. Are we doing athletics? Is Either that what we're doing? One. That's fine. I, okay, it's I'll it's take over the plus twenty. Seven. Easy enough. You're able to. Twenty-four. Yeah. Mm. Nice. Oh, that was a natural twenty. Yeah, I saw it before yeah. it rolled. You guys heave it up onto the shore very easily. You know, you put in. You plant another pole into the soft, uh, sandy shore here <clears> and, and tie it off. And it's the poles and the ropes are keeping it on the shore there, basically. <laughs> I just, I just high five. Yeah, lead. we. I high five. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. All of our rolls have either been natural twenties or natural okay. ones. All right. So before you go <laughs> no, investigating a path or anything, let's take a short break. Thank just you. Five minutes here for for just yes. a moment. That'd be great. All right. So enjoy this lovely music from Monument Studios. It is royalty free. You should check it out. MonumentStudios.net, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, real quick, thank you, thank you, thank you, Raiders. Okay, yes. We had an incredible raid. 12 or 13 people, I think, came over. I thought it was 21. Oh, just kidding. 21. You're right. Okay. Um, That's some Pete math. 20, yes, yeah. exactly. Faithful, Faithful encounters. encounters. Thank you so much for the raid. We very much appreciate it. If you're just joining us and you've stuck around this long, uh, we are Hearth and Hammer. We are a family-friendly D&D show. And we are currently exploring the Underdark. So thank you for joining us. Um, we have an awesome group here. We have a lot of fun together. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for the raid. Love for you to hit follow and join us. We stream uh, every Tuesday night. So hope to see you then. Uh, we, we are also doing, oh, a yes. lot of us are doing a fundraiser this Friday from That's 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. That's true. Uh, for Compassion International. It's a power stream. Uh, I think it's streaming for 24 hours or somewhere close to that. So yes. 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. Central Time. Yeah, what if we're you planning don't know what Compassion International crazy. is, go look it up. It's a really big organization uh, that uh, helps uh, people all around the world. It's amazing. Uh, and, yes, it's going to be incredible. So. And, and that's at twitch.tv. Unite the light. Yes, unite, unite the, light. the light. Yes, and that's Friday, this Friday, yep. October twenty second, uh, October twenty second, from yeah. eleven to three Central Time, or uh, again, twelve to four Eastern Time. So. We are the second. Chat. We are the yeah. second slot. So at any point Friday or Saturday, tuning in, you're going to see some amazing people. Absolutely, uh, gotten to know quite a lot of them uh, through yeah. all this streaming stuff. So, so they're they're all amazing. It's gonna yeah. be if good. You go, we'd, love to, we'd love to be here. Or we'd love if to you go to their to stream us. right now, their entire schedule is up on as their background. So yeah, so we are streaming under the switch online, which is it says noon, but that is Eastern time. Yep. So will, is what we're under. will your mustache make an appearance there too? My my mustache will not make an appearance. It'll be there. Gone. I can if you stick around and we'll give you a sneak peek, possibly, of, of some things I have planned so. for Flopsy. Awesome. All right. So, real quick, like two minute break now. So, <laughs> man. <laughs> All right. Two minute break. All right. Ready? Join, join this. Uh, enjoy this music for just a moment.
<laughs> All right. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Theridan is back. We are going to jump back in here. Thank you for bearing with us. Once again, thank you. Thank you so much for the raid. And if you are joining us for the first time, welcome. We hope you enjoy it. Um, we are Hearth and Hammer and the heroes of Huppertook. Uh, because we are adventuring in Exandria. So if you're a D&D &D fan, you probably are familiar with that. We are adventuring in Exandria. It's the, the world of Critical Role. We started with um, an adventure out of the... Um, out of the can out of the book, um, Explorer's Guide to Wildmount, uh, but have since blazed our own trail, and so we are now in the Underdark. So, uh, all right. Seth, just <coughs> letting it be known that Pete has been taking sand and dirt samples from the new areas. Oh, right absolutely, now. absolutely. So, okay. I, so I went down. I went down and told Mrs. Reboy she needs to come look at the spider on, <laughs> on Rowan's upper lip. <laughs> All right, so the party has disembarked. They've stowed successfully the successfully stowed the uh, the the barge, the boat, and they are getting ready to explore. Yes, and there's uh, like I said, you're yeah, on we'll about a eighty to a hundred foot beach. Um, you're about. 70 feet from the opposite shore. You are on what appears to be an island um, in this, you know, very large pond. Like, so, as you can see from here, it does look like it curves around out of sight. So The island the curves island. around? Like it curves around out of sight, and then there's water uh, on either side of it. And you said there's a path right. going into the mushrooms. There's a path going right? into the mushrooms on the island. Okay. I, I'd say we check out this path. Maybe it'll uh, afford us some kind of grotto or something we can hide out and make camp in. You want me to go forward first to make sure everything's clear? I mean, you can go or I can go. I'll, I'll just swing a hammer or anything that jumps out at me. You can ask Rowan about that. I can get it searched twice as fast as you, though. Hey, run ahead, little man. So, I'll run up and search it. Just okay. walking. So, uh, roll a perception check. Ooh, that is a strong eight. Okay. With my five perception. Um, so, you begin <clears throat> wandering down the forest. Uh, path there, if you will. Um, it's, you know, again, there's still these kind of glowing mushrooms and everything. Um, and you hear all of a sudden a loud screeching sound. Oh, once again. Um, how far down the path do you go? I'm going to go my full movement speed. However, okay. is this like, just over just, six just seconds? Just walking? Yeah, just, yeah. just walking, not, not like running necessarily. Okay. No, no. So yeah, so you, you made it what forty feet? I'm fifty feet is my move. Fifty feet. Okay, so you got about fifty feet down. Uh, the rest of you are standing at the the edge of the forest, watching kind of as he traverses it. Uh, you don't like he does get out of view because it does curve around the corner, uh, and you got about halfway there. Whenever you <clears throat> you got about halfway down down the path around the corner whenever uh, the screeching started. Noah. Do you, what do you do? I'm falling for it again, Rowan. Did he just holler at you, Rowan? At this point, you, it's, it is screeching and 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 wailing and screeching and screeching. We can hear it now? Just, it, yeah. Oh yeah, all of you can hear it. <clears throat> is I mean, it? It's, it's, it's something that is very loud and it's like, Those right, are those mushrooms, like, right? Does it sound like the mushrooms? You get the sense it's the mushrooms. Yeah. Ah. Oh. The Do I see mushrooms. any nearby me? Um. Mm, roll a perception check. Let's see if I can roll better. Well, no, you already, you, you <laughs> yeah, are, I rolled. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, I rolled. You already, did. you already did. No, you don't see anybody. 
Uh, where are those? They're somewhere along the path. But um, if I keep moving forward, do I? Does it sound like they're getting further away? If you keep moving forward on the path, like if I keep moving the direction no, I was going, no, it sounds like they're getting louder. Like you're moving towards uh, it. Then yeah, I'm walking back. Okay, so you walk back, and as you know, you get around the corner, and about fifteen seconds after you get around the corner. Uh, it stops. I've found some more of those mushrooms. I don't know if you y'all heard or not. Uh, what did you touch, Lee? <clears throat> oh, I definitely heard pound. it. So does this mean that we need to sneak around and try? Everybody to roll a perception again? check. I think this Ooh. dice is weighted. Was a dirty twenty for me? It's a and it's 22 for, for uh, Jace. It's a 16 for me. An 8. 11. Uh, sorry, okay. 8, 11. What was yours, Rowan? Mine was an 8. What was Jace's? 22. Okay. Mine's a 16. So I rolled a 15 for both me and Jace, and plus our modifiers. Okay. So as you all stand there, looking around, uh, like I said, Lee comes back, and after uh, you know about a minute, the the sound stops, and kind of counting, seeing if anything happens. Nothing seems to happen. Um, what do you do? We should probably sneak in. I'll do it. Sneak in where? You hear a voice from behind you, and you turn, and you see quietly, silently rising out of the water what looks to be a massive humanoid turtle. Oof. Humanoid turtle? Yes. A, a turtle? It, it is a turtle. We've, we've got no quarrel with you, turtle men. We're just looking says, for some place to rest our weary heads. He says, What does a motley party like yourselves think you'll find on an island? Here in the Underdark. Rest, hopefully. Like he this says, is, this is an island? <laughs> Have I known this? Like, did I actually, like, I've, got, I've rolled pretty low perception. I don't, I don't know if anyone's actually communicated that we're on an island. <laughs> no I said has. the island or the beach. I told you to make a pick. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's close enough. But I ask again. What business do you have here? We're just looking for somewhere outside of prying eyes to be able to put up camp. Yes. Uh... Well, it appears you've already walked in and set off the alarms. Those alarms are uh, very We're not the... useful. We're not the wisest of crews. Uh, we thought the... the... <clears throat> The poison forest wasn't a great place uh, to try to rest. I'm sure you know of the, such things up there with the purple mushrooms and such. Uh, and so we thought, you know, maybe this island would, would provide some sort of protection for us. Just for so us to rest. you have some sense of intelligence, at least. Yeah, not much. Yeah. Not, but some. Yeah. Some. You see now as as he he he's only halfway out of the water and he kind of like steps onto the shore up slowly and kind of the water kind of drips off of him but you are surprised that he was quite stealthy and coming up out of the water that much um he rolled really well <laughs> <laughs> uh he say he says
Before I invite you to my home, huh? I would like to know whom I am addressing. I'm going to whip off my hat and just kind of do a little bow. My beautiful pink hat. Put it back on my head. And, I, I'm third in Dawnbreaker. Paladin extraordinaire at your service. He gives you a slow head nod. I'm looking at either. I'm looking at uh, <clears throat> Rowan, kind of waiting for him to, you know, do his normal hero pepper duke thing. Um, I'm I'm Rowan, a uh, the the bard of the group. Um, it's a pleasure to meet your 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 acquaintance, Mister. And I gesture like. Time. Mr. In Time, it's it's a pleasure. No, no, Rowan, he's telling you he will tell you his name in time. I am exhausted. Third and uh, it's it's okay. Uh, I I'm sorry. Um, and I point uh, I point over to Pete. I've introduced myself. I said Pete. Uh, yeah. I keep it. Uh, <laughs> they don't listen to me when I. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm so, I, I don't speak to. Halfling. No, oh, yeah, you're uh, right on it too. Uh, anyway, uh, 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 Jace? If you don't mind, it's you've already made quite a bit of noise, so let's try and keep it quiet. Hey, uh, Jace, you telling me you're... He looks at uh, Jace and Lee, I think. I am Lee Swifthill, uh monk, uh, specialist in weapons. <laughs> And then I'll look at Jace. Let him do his intro. Really good at weapons, but he uses his fists quite a lot. Jace looks uh, at him and he says, Hello, uh, I am Jace Faraday. I'm pleased to, to make your acquaintance. Uh, we, mean, we mean no harm by... Sorry to intrude on your, your home. <coughs> and uh, Pete, you notice uh, Anwen fly uh, up off your shoulder at this point and she zooms around him and kind of looks at him. She says Hi! I'm Anwen. He says It's you are a long way from home. Uh, the pet has taken a liking to you, I see. Must not be all bad. That wouldn't be nice. She says, and you know, she, she looks at him she says, I am but these nice people have saved me. And so, I'm spending time with them. He says, mm, It seems that if one of these can trust you all, then so can I. As he, indi- he kind of indicates Anwen, he says, So, I... I am but a humble uh, follower of the Earth Mother. My name is Olu. What is that? O- Olu. Olu? Mm-hmm. O-L-U. That's how I wrote it, so good. He's, so he's a follower of whom? Uh, the Wild Mother, sorry. <clears throat> you may rest uh, in my cottage for the time being. That sounds a lot ask better. That you not disturb any of the things you see here on this on my island. Absolutely not. And he's uh, begins walking down the path. And uh, if are you following him? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. How large is he? He's large. Um, he probably weighs five, six hundred pounds. Uh, his shell is easily, um, you know, large and and knobby. He seems like he's a, been around a while. Um, 
uh, the the how the kind of like you know when you see the turtle shells and they have the the kind of lines in each of the little shapes, right? And it's like the more lines, it's kind of like almost like it, it's, it's like not exactly tree. like that, but it kind of reminds you of that. Like like he's uh, it looks pretty like looks like he's he's been here for a while. Like he's like he's you know pretty pretty old. Um, He's got leathers and stuff off of him. Obviously, he's you know kind of dripping wet as he's come out of the water. But um, he begins leading you down the path. As he curves around the corner, um, he makes a, a motion and uh, and casts something, and you don't hear any of the screeching sound. <clears throat> oh, thank goodness! Those things make my head hurt. <laughs> Uh, well, they do make quite a racket, but they make for convenient early warnings if someone intrudes upon your that they do. space. And he's uh, slowly plodding along here, and you <clears throat> start to wind through, and you you make it into the interior, and you can't can't see the back on the beach now but and it comes open into this clearing that's about uh 40 to 60 about 60 feet in one direction and you realize that a lot of this island is probably the the mushrooms have been kind of grown around this clearing uh a bit to give him kind of a space and and you see a pretty modest cottage that looks like it's been made out of what looks like dried um, stalks of, of mushrooms. Like if they were dried and almost like aged like timber. Um, uh, and you see this this small cottage uh, here on this island. Uh, you see kind of a workspace in front of it. Um, you know, simple tools. Um, you see uh, what looks like a small garden. And... Um, and, uh, yeah, there's a, a small light inside of the, the cabin peeking out through the windows. I, I went ahead and added one point of exhaustion from having to listen to how slow the turtle talks. So <laughs> <laughs> Rowan is just, uh-huh. uh-huh. <laughs> Mr. Uh-huh. Holu, first of all, I love this garden. Second of all, how have you made such a such a home in a place that we've found to be quite, you know, devastatingly difficult to travel through. Mm. I have been here for quite some time. And Pete, well, stop I know asking that him it questions. Is, uh, not welcoming to most. I find I get around quite well. Well, if we're all alive in the morning, uh, I'd say we probably have some questions we need to ask you. Uh, Third, don't don't ask him any more questions. Uh, No, not tonight. They need the rest. He makes it to the the front door of this cottage and pushes open the door and and, uh, walks in and says, Please, you may come in and rest. Hey. Thank you. And we go in. Okay. So you Impressed. enter into the abode of Ulu, the mm-hmm. turtle druid. And he says, uh, you, what you see is a simple uh, two-room c- cottage, uh, you know, stone hearth in one side, and uh, dry, lots of dried uh, mushrooms and other f- flora and... Um, just very, very, what you would think of as, as like a hermit's cottage, basically. So, um, and, uh, come in and he says, let me get you something to drink. And he goes over to the, to the, uh, small hearth there and pulls off some, um, water that's, looks to be heated there on some stones next to it. And, Begins pouring you out some 
um, hot water and he put some leaves, crushed leaves in there and hands it out. Uh, yes, very much. Very much. Excellent. Yeah. Um, I, I, I slide my, my my water skin of ale out. <laughs> okay. All right. <clears throat> and when he's not looking, I just empty the cup and fill it with ale. <sighs> okay. Do you empty it onto the like stone floor or do you try to like toss it back really fast and then... Yeah, I'll just toss it back real quick and then okay. fill it up. Chase it's, it with some ale. It's hot. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> Roll a constitution check. Or er. uh, sixteen. Okay, yeah, you're you pretty sure you might have burned the roof of your mouth, but you're able to hold it in. The cold, so. refreshing ale coming back after <laughs> you, you chase a room the temperature. Ale. Ale. You chase it with the room temperature <laughs> ale, and it's okay. All right. <laughs> All right, so yeah, um, what do you? Uh, there's enough space in here for you guys to come sit down. Um, there's some uh, animal s- skins there. There's a only um, only one chair, uh, and it's this oddly shaped. You know, like you, you get the sense it's like his chair, right? Like so it's a like turtle this, shell. It's, yeah, <laughs> like it fits like. It's more like a stool. It's not like it doesn't have like a back kind of thing, right? So, um, uh, as as someone who is carrying a shell does not uh, <laughs> need to lean back onto a uh, chair. So, but this very sturdy uh, chair. Uh, it's like you know, the legs are made of stumps basically, uh, <laughs> and it's uh, you know larger than any of you all would sit on kind of thing. But there's plenty of room to kind of sit down. In in round by the fire here. He says, "What brings you into this dark place?" To keep a long story short, um, evil people that we know came through here, and we're kind of looking for them, but we're also kind of looking for what we think is a cobalt city somewhere. That we might be able to find allies that will help us track down. We were told by people. a friend of ours to, to seek out the Kabold city. Yeah. We're tracking a drow. Turtle, we're tracking a drow. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, the Kabold city you speak of. I do know it. Um, there is a road that leads close by it. And if you head that direction, you should run into their outer defenses soon enough. Uh, Um, No, but in the morning, well, whatever we perceive to be the morning, could you lead us to that road, perhaps? I'm not inclined to go there myself right now. But uh, I can give you a bit of direction. I have just some directions would be good. That's also, would you mind teaching me how to make this tea? Is this is this made from the mushrooms themselves? Oh, but of course, but of course. Hey, great tea, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he and so he he you know, says you know, yes. Um, I believe the kobolds of the city call it uh, Blue Hold. Um, Blue Hold. Someone write that down. I think Rowan's already asleep. <laughs> Trying, but he's just. He's like in the corner go. next to the fire. Yeah, just. Yeah. Uh, the the barge we came over to the island on. Uh, do you know who has used it before us? Is it. Yes. Strange group. There were some kobolds um, that did look like members from that city. However, they were not wearing uh, any of the 
typical colors of that city. Um, I did not ever see a drow, but I had seen other dark dwarfs and other creatures with them, other beings. They were moving some sort of supplies. I tended to avoid them myself, as I have no interest in the outside world right now. You say they were traveling with wolves? Uh, dwarves. Dwarves, my apologies. Dark dwarves. Mm -hmm. Like me kinfolk, the but with bar. ashy skin. I... Yes. Not common up on the surface, but quite common here in the Underdark. Aye. I just um, third and spits on the floor. Aye. Devil's dogs, the nasty things. Mm. <sighs> Abominations. Would, they would have a similar opinion of their cousins up on the surface. Eh. Their opinion matters little to me. You, uh, you said Even there's a road so. that leads... You said there's a road that leads near the city, but you don't want to uh, travel there yourself. Uh, I have this map. Would you be able to uh, draw the path to it on the map? Hmm. I can take a look. Um, and you hand him the map that you've been creating at this point? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Um, he looks at it and... I'm going to give him a piece of chalk and not the pen and ink. That way, you know, he, he doesn't ruin it. folds it up and turns it sideways. Turns it upside down. Hmm. I'm not sure I can decipher where your map is coming and where it's going. I can tell you from the waterfall... Uh, the road leads through the mushroom forest, uh, though there are several places where it diverges. Uh, you must also be aware that the road does change from time to time as um, the mushrooms of the forest tend to not tend to not uh, pay credence to the roads and will grow anywhere and the kobolds and other creatures often are clearing new roads and paths but if you follow the road from the waterfall if you take a ever leftward path you should get there While I have no quarrel or issue with Blue Hold, uh, I tend not to enter into their domain. Is there any issue with outsiders entering into their domain? Oh, kobolds are skittish creatures, after all. Um, but this Blue Hold is occasionally um, open to outsiders. Um, they are more tolerant of travelers than kobolds I've seen previously. Well, they gentlemen. are much more organized than your average kobolds as well. So. On that note, I think it's time for me to take my rest. Ah, uh, yes. By topside standards, it is getting quite late. Ah, uh, that's this. Let me just go curl up in um, front of the, the fire. 
Is there anything we could do, uh, or perhaps some supplies we could leave you with? Anything to show you our appreciation for your hospitality? Uh, we can discuss it in the morning, if you'd like. Uh, but as for payment, uh, there is no need. Oh, I graciously, graciously appreciate that. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Um, is, last <clears throat> question of the night, perhaps. Is there anything we should know about, you know, better surviving down here? We are topsiders, after all. Mm, yes. I will think on it and uh, offer advice in the morning. Thank you. Better to not be too hasty when That's offering true. advice. That's very true. I wish Rowan was awake. <laughs> <laughs> Turtle's never known haste. <laughs> <laughs> says, very well. Um, if you leave the cottage in the middle of the night, um, uh, best not to leave the grounds, uh, as you will set off more of the uh, more of the mushrooms that act as a, an alarm. So I will leave you to your night's rest. And he kind of goes into the other room, and and it's it's really more of just a a wall with a kind of curtain that he kind of pulls across it. Um, it doesn't really cover up a whole lot, but you can kind of see, you know, underneath it and, and in between it there, it's like what looks like he kind of goes and like, you hear this kind of as he like kind of sits down in like some sort of like bed-ish, you know, it's not like a traditional bed, right? But it's like almost like a just a, you know, a warm bundle of, of, you know, uh, something. And, and then you kind of hear like the creaking of his shell as it kind of closes for the night. I lean over to Lee and I say, he is not going to like Rowan's talking to himself and uh, they're so snoring at all. As he says this, you can hear Darden already drifting into a big deep snore. Do you know some sort of silent spell? Depends on how well you can, you know, plug his nose and cover his mouth, but that can end other ways. (laughs) I was Uh, saying spell. Is so is someone staying up for a watch at this point? I'll stay up the first uh I'm going to stay awake for the first uh, four hours, and then I'll take my rest after. Um, yeah, we're in someone's home. I mean, if he thinks it's safe and he's survived this long, he's probably fine. Plus, he's got the alarms outside. I don't know why we would need to not well, trust him. I'm only going to sleep for four hours. Yeah. So it's whether I sleep for four hours on the front side or the back side. That's up to you. I don't don't wake me up for a shift. I'm gonna sleep. I trust I'm gonna try to finish the map while everything's fresh on my mind. I'm gonna work on the map some. Okay. All right. So um, Lee, you stay up and you kind of work on uh, a map sketch, and I can uh, I can give you a rough sketch of it later. Okay. Um, and then um, the rest of you go ahead and go to sleep. Now I'm already out. Uh, yeah, no, I've, I've been asleep. <laughs> well, right, right. Jace uh, lays down and he, uh, you know, uh, pulls out um, Chewie, who curls up on his chest and kind of goes to sleep. So, Anwen flies over and and she seems oddly comfortable with everything in here and in in, uh, in this, you know, whole situation. So. And uh, she finds a little scrap of cloth uh, on the table and curls up and goes to sleep. And with that, we will end tonight's session. Go! Oh. <laughs>
I'm gonna oh, kill Chris. the turtle in the I'm gonna kill the turtle in the morning. You leave him alone. <laughs> Use the portal. Try. <laughs> yeah, there's something he's about this turtle. turtle I don't want to mess with. Yeah, he's, no, he survived in the underdark surviving. for how long? <laughs> <laughs> Seems like a while. Seems like his days might come to an end. Fan fantastic session. Yeah, the days came to an end when he this. lived in the underdark. There is no day; it's all dark. <laughs> Turtle night. Did you know turtles get a massive bonus to their AC if they pull inside their? If they, shell? yeah, <laughs> yeah. But they automatically like fell dexterity saving throws or something. Um, it's considered prone and it has a speed of zero, but. <laughs> It the AC goes up to like advantage on dexterity. Thing. And their AC okay, go yeah. up to like but 25 it has or 26 on or something stupid. Yeah. 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 You guys uh, want to see my new addition for any time that I play Flopsy as a spoiler? Oh, oh yes. I've been told about these. Oh, Quick, these while he can't hear. Somebody say mean things. Yeah. Nope. Oh, His mustache looks great. He should keep it. Well, thanks again to all of our raiders. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, not quite as action-packed this evening. I've seen that. Uh, there's a there's a guy that I follow who uh, <laughs> plays some games, um, and he wears that hat all the time. Uh, that was fun tonight. So mm -hmm. awesome! Some good RP. Not uh, not a lot of danger. Nice little arcane trap that you guys did not check for which is fantastic not a lot of danger not a lot of uh non-self-inflicted yeah. danger you know? <laughs> yeah exactly. yeah true i mean that's yeah. always a danger. the only person that the only per the only combat we had was beating the crap out of row <laughs> It's true. It's true. That was great. And you guys did a lot it. of yeah. damage. There. Rowan definitely would have been dead if he would have let me do a full uh, round of attacks. <laughs> he had to save him. Yeah. Third and Tamer would have hit anything. Yourself. Like I you said, it was a reaction. One shot. Like I said, I gave it to you. So. Yeah, if anything, I had a surprise round. Okay. <laughs> Which was jumping out and scaring us. That's true. I have other attacks and well, reactions. <laughs> so. Uh, okay. Good. Well, thank you all for joining us. We hope you have a fantastic rest of your evening. Don't forget, if you stuck around this far, check out the Friday charity stream. Uh, again, it's for Compassion International, um, and it is twitch.tv slash unite the light. It's going to be fantastic. Uh, Austin and Colin are going to be players. I am going to be uh, helping facilitate and run the uh, behind the scenes for this uh, session and it's going to be amazing they're going to be playing D&D &D, uh, from 11am uh, central time to 3pm uh, central time uh, or that's 12 to 4 eastern time or 9 to 1 pacific Again, time Again, the so. money raised determines what happens in game and it's so true. There, there's, there's going to be certain, certain things, things that you can do that can only happen if, if certain amounts are hit, certain goals are hit, yeah. um, as well as just some things that just chat is going to be able to chime in on and what happens. It could be a poll that's like, do 12 wolves show up or 12 fairies show up? And so, um, again, yeah. chat is going to be highly interactive. So we just want to get as many people there as possible. Super excited about it. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's going to be from what nice. I understand, it's literally going to be unlike any other D&D game I've ever been a part of, or seen, or heard about. Like, it's going to be first? wild. Yeah, yeah. There, there's a lot planned. Um, it's a seven-camera setup, six to seven-camera setup, where it's going to be a combination of both digital and uh, physical. So there'll be terrain and stuff <clears throat> that we'll be able to see. And every single player is going to be sitting in front of a green screen so that we can put stuff behind them. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. Be awesome. Can we go ahead and get a, uh, I don't know, just a green screen picture of your mustache <laughs> put up behind nice. us for no apparent reason? Just hit him with one of these. Yep. That. That's it. That plays on loop in the background the whole time. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Um, all right. So we, we still have a, a good crew here, so why don't we send...
the group, the viewers, we should raid somebody. Raid somebody. Jeff, yeah, or Jay, sir. Somebody. Jeff just started a stream. Wait, Did what? It? Yeah, <laughs> Jeff just started a stream. He'll... Excuse me? <laughs> yeah. What, is he on his phone? Because he's... Uh, no, he's home. He's, he, he, got, he said, uh, just got home starting a quick stream. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Trader. He doesn't, he doesn't Abel live. Garcia left us. The official <laughs> Abel Garcia is over in that stream. He just went live. Of course he did. Um, well, you know what? Since we had a bunch of people come over for some D&D, I feel like we should give it to another D&D stream tonight. So, because they probably don't want to see him play whatever it is he's playing. Because I don't know what it says. I don't know what Accident. game that is. Yeah, I don't know. But he's playing just chatting. Yeah, um, but uh, you can always go check him out. It's Dr. Heels, twitch.tv slash Dr. Heels. Uh, he is normally our cleric, Jay Faraday here, uh, but he literally was out of town, I guess, until an hour ago. Yeah, I'm talking so. to him. He just flew in, like, he just flew now, in and got like, home. A couple hours nice. ago, yeah. Ugh. So it doesn't He's look like so there's late. anyone, any D and D streamer that is currently family friendly. Not that, besides us. <laughs> we are the only one that okay. makes us unique. You know, that is which true. is great. We need to push. So uh, any anyone that we were to raid at this point, just know that may potentially not be family friendly. It's true. It's true. Uh, but you know what? It's okay. We will not judge them uh, based on anything. We're just going to go in, see what's going on. Oh, I'm going to pick a good one, though. I'm going to pick a good one. Let's see. I'm looking here. Uh, once again, Austin, why don't you tell people about the charity stream on Friday? Yeah, uh, again, so it's going to be on twitch.tv slash unite the light. Um, again, the charity is to hopefully raise $10,000. The goal is $10,000 for Compassion International. Uh, super excited uh, about the opportunity. It was an honor to be asked uh, to be a part of it. And so, uh, again, it, you can check them out, twitch.tv slash Unite the Light. It'd be great if uh, we could get as many lord groups there as possible. That way, if like, you're higher on any uh, category that we find ourselves in during that day. Uh, so it's going to start at 8 a.m. Eastern Time. Uh, it looks like Double O Kills is going to be our first streamer there um, at the top. And then uh, we will follow directly after that at noon Eastern time. That is 11 a.m. Uh, Central time, which is most of our current times here. Um, but we have some amazing streamers all throughout it. And uh, Hideout, which is a company that Reborn's a part of uh, inside of New World, was asked to fill, fill out a stream. And Jono will be leading that stream. That's Jono Streams. Um, that'll be on Saturday. I don't see the exact time, so let me click on it. Uh, so John will be on it, Aki and Peach, and a few of the other hideout crews. That'll be it's, noon it's on it. Saturday, yeah. there you go. noon you got it. Uh, Eastern time. So, uh, but but be sure and check out all of them. Not just not just these specifically. Those are just the ones that I know. And I know that Elevation Church will be following us, which is where we are. Switch Online. Uh, we're representing Switch, which is the youth ministry of Life Church. Um, they are on Twitch as well. So uh, be sure and hit follow on all those channels. But awesome. make sure and at least. Come in and lurk on the Unite the, Unite the Light, twitch.tv slash Unite the Light. Super excited about it. Fantastic. All right. Uh, yeah, so with that, I'm just trying to find us a good, good stream here. Seen some with some pretty cool artwork and stuff. There's a. Uh, the bottle cap brigade that has a cool design. All of them are green screening themselves. Which ones? Uh, bottle the bottle cap brigade. Okay, let's see. We're saying. But... I don't even see them.
Did you put it in there somewhere? <laughs> what? Maybe not the bottle cap brigade. Okay, all right. All right. <laughs> I, I tuned in for just a split second and was like, no, that's uh, a. Huh? All right. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. Well, that's okay. I think we are slowly losing everyone here anyway. Um, <laughs> we can, um, let's see. You know what? Here we go. This is somebody who looks like they're just starting off on a campaign. The <coughs> actual travelers, Mr. Chaggy. Let me see if this is... My son was born last month, so it'll be a year probably before I post again. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, you can still follow me there, and uh, yeah, that's reborn. it. <laughs> I'm pretty much on every social media platform as Reborn Crusader. You can find me, including here on Twitch, uh, whenever I get back to streaming. <laughs> What are what are all heels handles? He's got like three, right? Uh, so Doctor Heels, you can find him. He's actually streaming right now on his channel, Doctor Heels, uh, Twitch TV slash Doctor Heels. He also has two YouTube. Uh, I believe it's, that I believe it's life. a that bold life and Jeff Evans are his two right. Are his two yes, that channels is true. On YouTube, and he's right. also on Twitter under Doctor Heels TTV. I'm on Twitter at Colin Kelsey Two, Instagram at Colin Kelsey Productions. That's it for now. Uh, I am most active on Twitter. It is underscore Austin LCG. Um, uh, you can also follow me here on Twitch. It's pretty sporadic on Twitch, so Twitter's a little bit better of a place if you want to reach out and kind of see what I'm up to. But you can find him on awesome. New Hey, you'll find me on New World if you happen to be on uh, And I am WhiteFoxSG. You can find me on Twitter and here on Twitch, but mostly on Twitter. Um, and so, anyone else? That's it. No? Good. All right. Well, hey, go over, say hi to this crew. They look like they're starting a brand new campaign, which is what it sounds like. It looks like uh, kind of an Episode astral sea. One. Yeah, exactly. So, nice. So I think you give them a good send off. What do you say? So. Yep. All right. Well, for those of us at Hearth and Hammer, uh, thank you for joining us. We love you. God bless and good night. <laughs>